things are here and I just think I got it. I think I just got it. Be good, be polite, be a gentleman. And remember. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, Oriental uh, exchange. So I think this is a good place uh, to exchange if you are, uh, if it's near to you, or you can get it exchange. Uh, you can get your Indian currency exchange at any uh, foreign exchange branch or guys like this, like foreign exchange. So the document that you want is your uh, visa, your basically your passport, your PAN card, and uh, and you need to also declare if you have transmitted any amount abroad mostly uk or any other place that you're going above seven lakh in the rupees so that at that point pcs will be deducted and yeah it's a smooth process didn't take much time you just have to file some uh, sign some documents and you get your uh, file you get your currency so i'm with uh, vikram who is also going to join me uh, in my course in, uh, in the cranfield mba so vikram Hi everyone. How was the experience in uh, the, the exchanging of money today? Hi, it was decent. I had to do the fund transfer, and Google Pay was not working, so it took some time. But it's okay. It was well nearby only. I found it pretty convenient. Yeah, uh, he did it through online transfer. I did it uh, by paying cash. So I think uh, it's advisable if you uh, exchange the money if you have cash because it takes. It takes slightly uh, lesser time than if you're doing an electronic transfer. I don't know why, but that's how it is here. So that is one tip and I'll catch you guys soon. See you. So I'm just about to leave right now. Uh, very excited going to the airport. I know this is the last time I'm locking my door of my house and I'll catch you guys in the next shot. security check and we are in the main uh, boarding area no no how was the experience uh, it security was, it was smooth for me but uh, for you it took a little longer time and you know no, I, I think was, immigration took uh, uh, immigration took longer time but security check oh my god you have too much of gadgets and that's why it took so much time but otherwise smooth yeah, I had, I had lo like way too many gadgets like that's what you do like as a YouTube vlogger you carry so many stuff like most of them electronics the camera equipment and stuff but uh, yeah and now we're just waiting yep um, the flight is at 7 o'clock boarding starts for 6.30 so basically uh, you can get uh, food pretty early in the morning which is love, like very high quality I suppose and you just need to have support the uh, MasterCard, Visa, American Express and other accepted cards probably in the airport launch and this is maybe because uh, few people know about this so we still get food to eat early morning and I had like as you saw in our previous slide good food and now we are just waiting for the flight. Yep. Let's see. So we are finally heading towards the boarding gate and it's going to take us around 10 hours and 40 minutes. And as you see this is a huge line ahead of me and I can't really speak with this. But as we go, this I think is the business class or the first class. And I think these are the business class seats. Maybe not. Yeah. And as I go ahead, um, those are the premium economy seats for sure. And it was a pretty good experience with British Airways. And there we go. That's our 
economy. So this was the first meal of the day where we got sewe and some vegetables and some fruits and tea. And this was the last meal of the day an hour before we landed and we got some mashed potatoes a hot dog which was very cold i suppose that was a cultural thing or maybe not not sure but do we wanted non-veg option but we got veg because they had ran out of the non-veg options we just arrived uh, in london right now and we are going towards the immigration and then uh, and then collect the bag. So yeah. There is a huge queue uh, for immigration. Uh, first is the immigration and then you have your bag here. And I'll just show you I'll just show you the crowd. That is the Indian line. Vikram ka kya so basically uh, Vikram's uh, interesting. So slightly out out of shape. So, so the he had to yeah the wheels are bigger for this. It's slightly uh protrude this protrude and that's why he had to pay fifteen thousand rupees extra, right? <laughs> 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 After immigration, we uh, got a baggage and then we went to this place. Cafe Nero. With Mr. Vikram. And Cafe Nero. And Nana. I went to the cafe, for uh, Cafe Nero over here, and just to try out the Forex card, and it works. It doesn't require you your ATM pin. So. So this looks like the bus that we would be allotted pretty much this looks like the bus and this is, is a this is just great gesture by uh, Cranfield University that they have this service So finally uh, done checking into the campus uh, accommodations uh, registration. Now moving ahead. Vikram, how's the hi, process? Hi guys, Zonathan has been a big help here and in, during the whole of this journey I'm lucky to have him as my companion. <laughs> <laughs> now we are proceeding, it's a 5 minutes walk from here to Ferdinand as well as Baroness. Zon's going to Fedden, I'm moving to Baroness. Hopefully it should be a very great time. Yeah. Let's see. Look at these houses man. Like the quintessential English house. Or the houses. I just uh, dropped uh, Vikram to his accommodation for the new Banis Hall and I finally found out my accommodation where I'll be quarantined for the next 10 days today day, today been a day zero and let me show you around so this is this I'm yet to get used to seeing sunlight post 6 o'clock 6.30 and this is like what we are touching 7.30 right now and it's pretty quaint countryside and the 
Oh, who's that a fed houses? I think these are the family houses. And there's Nana going herself. It's pretty quaint right now, pretty silent. Because I think most of the people will be quarantining. So. Desperately in love with you